Hey everyone, I've got a rather unusual game today between Leela Chess Zero CPU versus Stockfish in the CCC bonus CPU showdown. So each side gets 10 minutes and a 3 second increment in this tournament. In this game, Leela was playing white and Stockfish was playing black. But it's a bit of a weird one. So in the game, e4 was played g6, d4, bishop g7, knight c3, d6, bishop e3, a6 and queen d2. And this is the end of the book, so this is a modern Benoni defence. And Stockfish now played b5, so maybe preparing b4. And basically white's going to attack on the king side, black will attack on the queen side. So to start, Leela plays f3. Knight d7 is played, and now Leela continues her attack with h4, with the idea of playing bishop to h6 and h5. So for this reason, Stockfish plays h5 themselves to halt this h-pawn. And knight to h3 is now played by white. So knight g5 or bishop g5 would be a great outpost for one of those pieces. And this is just a typical attack at the moment. In the game knight f6 is played and Leela shoves a knight onto g5. Which is a very nice outpost as I say. Stockfish plays bishop to b7 and now Leela castles queenside. So basically Leela's plan here is to play maybe g4 and get some sort of initiative on the king side. E6 is played by Stockfish and Leela secures her own king with king to b1. Stockfish delays castling for the moment. They play queen to e7 here, maybe preparing c5. Leela now plays a3, but I think rook g1 may have been a better move. This is because if black castles, now white could play g4. If h takes g4, f takes g4, black may play b4 to gain some sort of counterplay on the other side of the board. White can play knight to a4, take on e4 if they wish. If the captures, captures an h5, I think white has got a really nice initiative here. Knight to f6 could be played as well. But I think white's position looks really nice now, and I'm surprised that Leela didn't go in for the rook g1 idea. So yeah, I definitely think rook g1 was the best move in this position. Instead they played a3, stopping b4 ideas, which is fair enough. We've discussed this before, that alpha 0 and Leela chess are like to keep the kings safe before the attack. So maybe this is what a3 does. Rook d8 is played by Stockfish here. And I think this would entice me to play a move like d5 here. If captures, white can capture again, and if castles... White can play bishop d3, and um, black can't ever capture this d5 pawn due to takes, takes, takes. White can finish with bishop takes g6 and capture the bishop on d5 at a later date. And obviously if they capture, it's check, so black can't recapture the bishop on e3 so quickly. In the game, Leela played queen to f2, and black now finally castled. Leela develops the bishop to d3. And Stockfish manoeuvres their rook back to b8, so we're preparing for a queenside attack here. And finally Leela plays g4, so we've got a very double-edged position here. If black ever captures on d4, white can actually play h5 instead of recapturing. And white's got a really nice initiative. If g takes h5, queen h2 can be played. And basically white just needs to get rid of this knight on f6 now to start harassing this h5 pawn. For instance, if rook fc8, white can play e5, hitting the knight. If takes, takes. The best move given here is play b4, attacking the knight on c3. e takes f6, knight takes f6. White can play knight c e4. And if takes, takes. White actually emerges a piece up. Black can of course play b takes a3, but after b3 it seems as though black's attack is no more. Maybe a5 can be played. But I think king a2 keeps white relatively safe. So black doesn't really want to take on g4. Instead, Stockfish played bishop c6 now. So opening up the file for the rook to attack white's king. Leela may have feared b4, so they play knight to e2, dropping their knight back. And now b4 is, of course, played. And I think here Leela made a terrible mistake. I think a takes b4 was fine. a takes b4, rook takes b4. White can play bishop d2. The rook's forced to move back, and white can hold everything together with bishop to c3, counteracting maybe this bishop on g7. Instead, Leela played a4 in the game, and this just allows bishop takes a4, so basically white's just given up a pawn. But to be fair to Leela, she does continue her own attack with knight to g3, so all is not lost here. 
Stockfish plays c5 here, and Leela takes on h5. So as I said, this is a very double-edged position at the moment, with both sides attacking one another. If Knight takes h5 here, I think this is actually given as the best move by Stockfish on my own engine. So Knight takes, G takes, White can play Rook H, G1. And if the C takes D4, Bishop takes D4, I think White's got a superior position, just because the G file's opened up, and the Bishop on D4 is just contesting the dark squares against this Bishop on G7. E5 is pretty much forced. After White drops back to Bishop to E3, Black can play B3, but after C3, again, Black's attack is just blunted, and I feel like it's just white who's about to attack the black king. Instead of taking on h5 though, black played rook fc8, so getting another rook into the attack. And Leela takes on g6. Stockfish recaptures. And this is where the weird move comes in, because Stockfish gives this as a brilliant move. But then several moves later, white is suddenly losing, which is incredibly odd. So you may want to try this with your own computer actually, just set up this position and see what you think. But e5 is now given as the best move by white, but it's actually not that good. Knight d5 was played by Stockfish in the game, and actually the best move I think for white now is just to play e takes d6, and after queen takes d6 just play bishop takes g6, and there's actually a perpetual check now due to knight c3, king c1 and knight a2 king b1 and knight c3 again. If white ever takes this, it'll be terrible due to b takes, and if king to a1, just something like queen b6, would be very nice for black. And the idea for black is just play queen to a5 and remove the bishop to checkmate the white king. So as I say, e takes d6 may have been the best move here. But again, the computers still give bishop takes g6 as the best move, which is what Leela played as well. But then just comes knight c3 check, and this seems to be like a bit of a blind spot for the engines. I'm not sure why though. And the engines now give black as better in this position. So I'm not sure what is going on. But after b takes c3 by Leela, b takes c3 check, king a1, rook b5, suddenly Stockfish is just absolutely winning. Leela plays bishop to h7 check, but after king h8, e takes d6. Stockfish just ignores this and plays rook to a5. Threatening bishop c2, checkmate. And there's nothing really white can do now, it's game over. d takes c7 was played by Leela, and Stockfish mates Leela with bishop takes c2, checkmate. And this is only on move 27. So this was a very unusual game, and very incredibly short for a computer game. But yeah, definitely check out this position on your own engines. I'm very curious to see what they say. Mine says e5 is the best move, but after going into the variation several times, it changes the valuation very quickly. And Stockfish seems to have taken advantage of this in this game. But anyway, this was a very nice game, very double-edged. I hope you enjoyed the video, and hope to see you in the next one. Please like, subscribe, or comment, and let me know your thoughts on this game. Anyway, see you next time, everyone.